What's up, y'all? It is your girl Dominique. Hope everyone is having a great day. Welcome to another vlog, another day in the life. I hope everyone is doing well. So today I am getting ready to go to Starbucks, get some work done, just sit down and edit a little bit. I have a whole bag full of packages I have to take to the post office. Thank you guys so much for always supporting and shopping Fearless Bell. I really do appreciate it. I got some hot new products and items coming so y'all gotta just stay tuned for that um and girl i got a doctor's appointment today <clears throat> i low-key do not want to go but i need to go so um that's not until 4 p.m i just called them to see if they could get get me in a little earlier but they can't so yeah gotta do that i need to clean my car out also i just got a big package from she and y'all got like so many like outfits i picked out so much stuff so thank you to she and for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog i will be showing you guys some of the things that i got from she in right now hey y'all so i'm about to show y'all a few outfits that i got from she in and i've got quite a bit of things however i want to show you guys a few things in this vlog and a few more things in some of my upcoming videos but this first outfit right here is the two-piece neon green y'all know green is my color i absolutely love the way that it fits i love the detail the design and this um top it is padded but you can take the padding out if you don't like that but i love the extra padding and these shorts like fit really good y'all see that <laughs> they fit so good i love how they come up on your stomach holds you in like girl i'm here for this i'm here for this and i will have everything linked down below in the description box so guys check that out also i have a discount code so you can save some more money um so yeah this is the first outfit all right so here is another two piece and i like y'all i love this one right here this these leggings they give your butt like it gives the illusion of your like it just makes your butt look good y'all see how the v goes down in the back and then it's like i don't know i don't know how to describe it but it's just like it cups under your butt and it just makes it like lifts it makes it look good so i love that about these leggings i love this color they have different colors and this bra this bra is padded as well i don't feel like this padding is as thick as the one that i previously tried on um it's really soft really really soft yeah so this is cute this is so cute like you need this period like you need this girl <laughs> girl i'm about to get all these colors like girl look at this two piece right here like this is so cute they have another color in this like ombre um i forgot the name of this i have it down below but i love this ombre effect like it's so cute it has like the little exclusion right here like the gathers right here in between your butt so it has your butt looking good and it also has like what, what would you call it like it has the that material right here under your butt to like lift it up and it's doing a job so cute so cute this one fits a little tighter than both of the like tighter than the first two that i tried on and i got everything in a size small um I think it's like one dress I got in the extra small, but majority of everything that I got is in a size small. But this is super cute. So here is another two piece, and this is like more of a nude set color. And I like the way that this one, I like this color. However, this one fits a little bit bigger than all the other ones i don't know it's just like a little bit more stretchier which i mean it's fine but just in comparison to um the other set that's just like this one 
this one fits a little bit bigger and i like the fact that these come down to my ankles one thing i will say if you're taller than me y'all i'm five foot even so if you are taller i don't know i i guess these will be kind of like some capris on you honestly because these come right to my ankles so they will probably be a little short on you i also picked up this three pack of sports bras and i mainly wanted it for this white color because i was looking for a white sports bra and they do have pattern in them however um this set has these two colors in with it i was like oh these are really cute so yeah these are some cute sports bras i'm going to try these on so you guys can see what they look like all right so here is the blue color and these do come with adjustable straps so you can make it tighter i would probably need to tighten these up but it gives you a little um a little pattern like the pattern in these is really thin as you can see um and i just have my bra on under here because i feel like taking it out but yeah just a real cute simple sports bra because i got some shirts and the way they're cut like it's it's cut to where you need to wear like a sports bra or like a tank under it okay y'all this will fit so much tighter than the blue one like what the Woo, this one is so much tighter than the blue one. Uh, yeah, this one fits really tight. It came in the same pack and everything. I love the way that this one fits. And I love this color. Of course, here's the white one. Yeah, now just a white sports bra. So, boom. These are cute. And I feel like they were, they were really affordable, especially for like a three pack. So, here are the black ones. And these fit pretty good. I love the way these fit. I would actually buy another pair of these. These fit really good. Here's the pink set right here. This pink set is super cute. Again, it's just like the neon green one in the beginning. Fits good. Like, I am here for it. I will link everything that I showed you guys down below in the description box. Also, I will have a discount code in the description box as well. And I have it right here on the screen so you can save some money if you go and you like, um, you know, see anything you like on the site, you can save some money using the code. So yeah, I got some really cute stuff and I will link everything down below. Here's my sandwich, y'all. It looks so good. So good, so good. And then I got a caramel ribbon crunch. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. What's up, y'all? So it is 12:30 and I stayed there and worked for about two and a half hours. I got two videos edited, which is really good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and yeah, I just got like a lot of work done. It was very productive. Now I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store, stop by the car wash. I need to go to Burlington because they have like these little pretzel sticks with um, chocolate on it. I think I showed you guys them before, but Roman loves them and my mother-in-law loves them so i'm gonna go to burlington and get some of those and fingers crossed i don't walk out with anything extra no home decor or nothing um and then sean was texting me he want to go to sky zone he wanted to go to the ball factory we went to like a couple of vlogs ago but i told him i have a doctor's appointment so can't do that i stayed in here worked a little longer but I want to go ahead and get my chicken in the crock pot. Miss Mel says she would um, clean the chicken for me. So it should already be clean when I get there. And I'll go ahead and put that in the crock pot. Let that cook for a little while. I think I'm going to make some broccoli and cheese to go along with it. And some rice. I am in 
and burlington and of course i had to come to the decor i've not eyeing this plant for the longest it's been $40, but it's on sale for $20. And it looks like it's a little messed up. Like it has like a crack right here. However, I think this will be nice in my office room because, uh, oh, even this one. I think I like this one better. I think I like this one better. To go somewhere in the house, this was on sale for $25.99. Um, because I can actually glue down some rocks or something like right here, but nobody's really gonna be seeing that Let's see if this one on sale. No, y'all already know Hashtag positive vibes positive mind positive vibes positive life For the things I was talking about I might go ahead and buy like all they have I'm gonna get at least two packs. I'm gonna get a pack so Roman can take some back with him. But if y'all go in Burlington and y'all see these, they're cookies, cookies and cream covered biscuit sticks. They are really good. Should I leave this last pack or get it? I guess I'll leave this last pack. I'm at Aldi now and I mainly came in here to get Gatorades because they're a little cheaper in here, but y'all. My favorite wine, y'all looking for some good wine. I think it's like 9% and y'all it's only $2.95. You cannot beat that. They are out of my favorite kind, but I do love pineapple. But you gotta try the peach. Watermelon is good also. They got sweet blueberry. Try that wine out, it's really good. But yeah, I like to get dead away from here because it's a few dollars um, cheaper. Meyer now and I just got some cherries gotta get some strawberries the girls absolutely love strawberries so I think I'm gonna get this pack right here <gasps> no y'all know I can't come to the grocery store without getting a watermelon so I think yeah, so I just got like a little blessing, a blessing. Ain't no little blessing. A blessing is a blessing. So this lady, she was, she saw me getting the strawberries, and she was like, "I got a coupon for 40, 40 cent off." And then she's like, "Are you getting broccoli?" Y'all know I just told y'all I'm cooking broccoli and cheese. Seventy-five cent off, girl. Any blessing is a good blessing, right? Let me tell y'all. The girl just had to rush to the car. It was this man in here. He was persistent on talking to me. Honey, everywhere I went, he was freaking like, look, he following me up in that joint. And then I go to the checkout line, hear his tail come. I said, oh, heck no, I had to call my sister. I'm like, you know what, talk to me. I'm like, what the heck? And he was an older man, ain't nothing wrong with that. But, honey, I'm not looking for a sugar daddy. I got one man at home, he is enough, trust me. Girl, that is one thing, when I'm out with no kids, and I hate getting approached, because even sometimes when you tell them like, oh, I'm married, they don't care. It's like, what? I know the guy who has to scan the packages in about to be a little upset with me, because he keeps telling me that I need to figure out how to get like a scan sheet so when I bring all the packages in, he could just scan the one sheet and not have to do one individually, but I cannot figure it out. And the customer service with the, um, the program that I use is just, like, they take forever to respond, like you have to email them, so... I hope he's not in here like right now. <laughs> cause I don't want him to see me and then he gonna be asking me again. Cause every time I come he be like, have you figured it out yet? I'm like, no. So it was quick and easy. And thank God he went up there. So I'm ready to head home. I gotta go freshen up a little bit because um, I'm going to the OB doctor today. I guess after you have a baby, they want to do a pap smear on you or I don't know. So I didn't go last year because I had an appointment. I, I think I, it was like a six month after you had a baby appointment. I don't know. I was supposed to go last year after I had summer.
all right so let's start on the chicken and gravy in the crock pot i know i've been promising you guys this recipe so what you're going to do is just put the chicken breast in the crock pot i'm using the brown gravy mix of course you can make your gravy by scratch this is how i like to do it i take um some chicken broth i pour that in or you can use water i like using chicken broth because it just adds a little bit more flavor we're going to add a little lari seasoning salt one of my favorite seasonings to use after that i'm going to add some pepper black pepper and as you can see skylar is helping your girl out she loves to help me cook now i'm just putting some chopped onions you can chop up cut up some you know real well these are real onions but like fresh onions now i'm taking a little paprika adding a little bit of that as you can see i don't measure anything out i just eyeball it and now i'm taking a little parsley adding that in and after adding all of my seasonings i'm going to go in and make the gravy well mix the gravy in with a little of the chicken broth and i'm also going to add some flour in and that's just going to help thicken the gravy up so i'm just whisking everything together and i'm just getting into like a thicker consistency so as you can see i'm just adding flour and after i add everything together i'm just going to go ahead and pour it and as you can see so yeah that's basically it i'm going to add some butter and we're going to put the top on and let this cook for about four hours if it's on high four and a half hours and then six six and a half hours if you have it on low and that's pretty much it. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm at the OB. I have not been here since I was pregnant with someone. Well, after my six week checkup, I'm like, oh, someone's getting an ultrasound. It's bringing back so many memories. Like, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my. oh my gosh. So I just had to get a ultrasound. They had to check my IUD to make sure it was still in place. And everything is good. Getting ready to leave the doctor's office now and everything went good. They had to do an ultrasound. I was like, oh my gosh, this brought back so many memories, y'all. Um, but she just wanted to check and make sure my birth control, my IUD was in place and everything. She was like, when was your last cycle? And it was like 10 days ago. She was like, oh, I see an egg in your ovary. <laughs> So this would be the perfect time to make a baby, okay? <laughs> the perfect time. However, that birth control would not fail me, okay? Y'all, I took a picture in there and I'm going to title this vlog like getting an ultrasound or doctor's appointment. <laughs> and I already know the thoughts y'all gonna be thinking. I'll be like, oh! She's pregnant, she's having a baby! Yes, baby number three! Boo boo! I already know, I already know the thought that y'all gonna be thinking when y'all see the cover and when y'all see the title. But just let me tell you right here, I don't feel like it's clickbait. Um, you know, you just, you think what you think, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I did go to the doctor, I did get an ultrasound, so however, you the one that came up with the conclusion that your girl might be pregnant, okay? But I just had to do it, you know, I just had to do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I got y'all all excited and stuff, but <laughs> nah, sis. <laughs> I am living my best life right now, okay? Living my best life, uh, ain't going what's up y'all so i am back home and i'm so sorry i'm so sorry because i told y'all that i was gonna let y'all see me um cook the um broccoli and chicken broccoli and chicken broccoli and what did i say i was gonna cook oh chicken and gravy and i cooked it, it was so good it was so good it turned out so good it's so good um, but I showed y'all how I put it in the crock pot and I usually just let it cook. What time? I put it on high and I put it in there, what, around maybe two, 
and I took it out. We just ate. So I took it, we just ate like around seven. So it was in there for that long. I started it out on low. Then I changed it to high because I needed it to cook a little bit quicker. But it cooked for that long, probably like six, six hours, I guess. I usually leave it in there for six hours when I have it on low. But um, the longer the better. So it was so good, it turned out so good. I did some rice and I also did broccoli and cheese and here's the leftovers but there goes the broccoli and cheese it was so good basically all I did was I steamed the broccoli then I made the cheese and with the cheese I just took milk flour um, milk flour butter and cheese <laughs> and I just mix it together to make the cheese to go on top of the broccoli and then after that after steaming the broccoli I put it in the pan and I just put it in the oven oh shoot I'm forgetting about it I just put it in the oven for about 10 minutes just so everything can just like melt and marinate together and of course I just season it with salt and pepper I put a little garlic seasoning and for dessert, we got cookies. So yeah. That's real good. How was dinner? Dinner was. Good. The bomb. Yeah. The bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. What? Yeah. I don't know. It's just a different pack. The different brand that I got. So yeah, I'm sorry y'all. I know I've been promising y'all that I was going to show you how I cook the chicken and gravy, but I just started talking and I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to set the camera back up so y'all can see. Anyways, I'm getting ready to finish cleaning up this kitchen and I was watching, I was catching up on Face Over Matter. She posted a vlog today, so I was watching that. What's up y'all? So it's the next day and Skylar's in dance class right now. Sean's mom is in there watching her. Summer, come here, baby. Sean's mom is in there watching her. Um, Sean brought me some um, jerk. It was like some pineapple crab. I don't know, I'm gonna show it to y'all when I get home. Like, I saw the picture of it and I was like, oh yeah. It's the same place he got the jerk nachos from. So if you live, near Waikiki and I'll let you guys know the name of the place. Y'all need to try it out. But um uh, I don't how to do this. What you doing girl? Okay. Okay. That's what y'all so I'm back home and I think I told y'all I was gonna show y'all my food. Here's what it looks like. I already ate like a few shrimp out. But um it's like in a pineapple got rice. Looks so good. <laughs> Feeling good. Go Sky. What's up? What's up, y'all? So it's the next day, and ah, uh, my battery's going dead. What the world? Oh my gosh. Anyways, it's the next day, and I am at Meatheads. It's like a um, they have burgers. I'm meeting Sean for lunch. We're gonna have some lunch. Girls are home with their grandma. Um, but yeah, I haven't had this in probably like over a year. I think I was pregnant with summer, y'all. If y'all have a meatheads near you, try it. They're really good. I'm getting ready to switch out purses and put my shoes on. I'm wearing these shoes right here. Mm. These are so cute. They're comfortable. I have a white pair like this. Y'all know I got them from Fashion Nova, but these are from Shein. I'll link them down below. And my little outfit is so cute. Super cute. It's like a two-piece. Um, two-piece like linen type set. And I'll link that down below as well. I don't know like this part keeps coming down. So I'm trying to like fold it in on my bra strap so it'll stay up. Um... But yeah, that's what I'm up to, girl. I'm going to put my shoes on so I can be ready to get out when he get here. I'm thinking we may go to the water park when he get off today. Um, it just depends on what time he get off. 
because today is like our last day, last full day before his mom leaves. Girl, I forgot to put lotion on my legs. Oh, so I just found an extra battery, thank goodness. So maybe I'll vlog and show you guys the burger when we get inside. Hey, 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 guys. So I am in Target. Lunch was really good. I got like an Angus burger. It was really good. Um, but I mainly came in here to get, um, to get, what I call them yet? Somebody was looking at me and it always makes me lose my train of thought. But I came in here to get some diapers for summer. And then y'all know the section in the front. I just had to pick up these puzzles. They're only $3. This is first alphabet. It's for ages three and up. And then this one right here is first numbers. And then I picked up this drop cord. When I get back home, I think I'm gonna um, play around with my Cricut machine and see what designs and different stuff I can make. I'm gonna get some diapers. Summer is still in size three. I feel like she could go up a size. I'm thinking I may, you know what, I'm gonna stay with size. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with size three because size three goes up to 28 pounds and she's only 20 pounds. Um, but let me tell y'all, I use Pampers with Sky, but I feel like they change this brand, Pampers. But I feel like they changed the diapers. Am I the only one that feel like that? Because we were out and I thought I didn't have any more diapers. So I went to Walgreens real quick and they didn't have any Huggies. So I got Pampers and they just like come, they leak. I'm just like, what the heck? But I love them with Skylar and I didn't like Huggies when I had, when Skylar was a baby. But now with Summer, I absolutely love Huggies. Am I the only one who's been having that problem? So I'm like, oh. I'm just so I'm so happy that all those um, Pampers brand diapers gone, so I can go back to Huggies. Whew, y'all! I gotta hurry home. Y'all already know. Maybe a little TMI, but y'all know after you eat. And I just ate that heavy food. My stomach is starting to hurt. I gotta make it to a bathroom, honey. And I don't want to use it out here. This Target is really nice too. I like the setup of it. Their setup is different. It looked newer. When I was getting dressed today, I noticed I really did not have any earrings. So I need to like re-up on my jewelry. And I like these earrings right here. They're chunky and they're only $7.99. So I'm gonna get this gold pair. I love these y'all. They're so lightweight. I think I'm gonna get another pair of these. They're so lightweight. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm gonna get these two, y'all. They're so super lightweight. Here. That's how I get her nails done. You getting your nails done with Nana. So girl, you've made it to the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, of course, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Mwah.